honey's just in here. Okay, we're about to go eat at KFC. Uncle Frank wants some mashed potatoes, so that's what the hell we're going to get. Uh, but, you know, we're going to get a meal with it. Now, we're not just going for no damn mashed potatoes. So, we'll catch you guys in a bit. Love you, honeys. Okay, I would like the four-piece tender combo. Let's have a drink, Frank. Pepsi. Pepsi. Um, honey mustard. Okay, and then I would like, um, what the hell do I want? Oh, one minute, please, ma'am. Okay, give me a number 18. Uh, Smoky Mountain Barbecue Sandwich Combo. Uh, sweet Tea. And um, can we make that uh, meal large, please, ma'am? Well, you know, the Sweet Tea. Okay, and then, um, I would, um, how does your Cinnabon Biscuits come? How much is a four-piece? How much? Okay, I'll do that. Uh, that'll be it. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Guys, because guess what? We got to try them Cinnabon biscuits, and they're new too. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. Hey, honeys. Okay, we're back. Uh, ooh, ooh. My tea about to pop out. She is about to have some baby teas in there. Frank here, can you set this this coke somewhere? Mm -mm. Put that down. Uh, just set it. I, I can't, just set it, please. Put it on the dash. I ain't putting it on the dash. Okay. Thank you. All right, y'all. I think I got messed up dinner again. You ain't got no messed up dinner. What you talking about now? You got a messed up dinner. Hell, you the one ordered the shit. How about a messed up dinner? God, you the one order. In the same box. Give me time to get the bag, okay? Damn. All right, guys, we got some KFC today. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh-uh. Yes, sir. No I'm... furniture. <laughs> Quit your shit. Y'all, here's our biscuits. Gotta love the Cinnabon biscuits. You ready, to tell you ready for some biscuits? No, I ain't it right now. Oh. I want to. Here's your box. I bet they ain't. But I'm, let me see what I. Don't open my box. Do what? If you open my box, they throw that in the ground. Why? I'm just saying you got mashed potatoes. Uh uh. But don't, don't it. I want you to take shit now for nothing. Frank, I just touched it one little end. I don't want you to take shit for nothing now. You are so childish. Frank, I just touched the end where to make sure you had cream potatoes in there. Eat. That's eat. It. Why don't you eat? Eat. Eat, eat. I am. God, y'all, I don't know what's wrong with Uncle Frank. I'm about, I'm a butthole willy today. Yeah, you got that shit right. You are a butthole willy. Damn, y'all. Got, got us some potato wedges. KFC has, like, one of the best potato wedges besides Golden Pantry. Mmm. You want some potato wedges? Mm-mm. You ill as a hornet today. Yeah. I, I thought a hornet was ill, but until I saw you. Mm. What's wrong? Hmm. Pretty good.
Should I rather have um these kind of well potato wedges more than I would a fry? I mean, well, yeah, that'd be good too. All right, ooh, we got the Colonel Sanders face on it. Hell, hopefully one day my face will be on one of these. And I'm gonna put yours on one of the hot and spicy. I told this damn woman barbecue sandwich. Look what the hell she gave me. Does that like damn barbecue? What is it? Fucking chicken. Woman didn't have her thing cap on when she made this one, did she? Look at that. A chicken. Chicken sandwich. Number 18 is a freaking barbecue sandwich. I want a barbecue, not chicken. This shit better not be spicy. It better not be. Am I, oh, you know this one. I don't give a damn if you know the president. Hell, what the hell she do? Grease the bun, too? How the hell am I supposed to eat this damn gravy-ass chicken sandwich? Fine way. I want to take this sandwich back. Do you know what the hell a barbecue is? Mm-hmm. I bet she does. Hell, she fixed chicken instead of barbecue. People. I don't know what to say about people. Let me have food over that thing. Here. Well, we got a fort. Will a fort do? No, let me see it. Uh -uh. Don't, don't, don't open it. Why? Don't open it. God, you're such an illy ass today. Uh -huh. Yep. God, I don't know what the hell's gotten into you. All right, guys, we got Frank's favorite part. We got some questions for y'all. Ready for some questions, Illy? Mm -mm. I don't give a damn. We're going to be talking today, with Uncle Frank. No. Nope. All right, question number one. We need a makeup tutorial. Honey, yes, you will be getting one of those eventually. Let me just say that. You will. Um, I don't know when you guys will be getting one, but you guys will be receiving a makeup tutorial. One, a great video would be me doing Frank's makeup. No. Will you let me do your makeup? No. Why? No. Why? That you like you like makeup, don't you? No. Nope. Why? I don't have them on shade. Trust me, I can tell. All right, number two. I've had really bad anxiety. 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 Here recently. Do you ever get that way? If so, how do you deal with it? Um, sometimes I do, but the best part about it is listen to music, be with the people that you love, that will support you and love you regardless, and that will take care of it, honey. That will, um, because you won't think anymore about the problems, you know, through your talks and your conversations with the people that you love, you will kind of seem to forget about it, and when you're into music, and like listening to like maybe pop music, uh, rock and roll, something upbeat, not nothing, love song and all that kind of shit. Hell no. But something upbeat, yeah. Because that's the way I am. Shit, I got to listen to some Elvis Presley, Michael Jackson, um, Rodney Atkins, um, who else? Um, shit, there's a lot. Bruno Mars, 
stuff like that. I gotta listen to that. Very upbeat. Um, number three, what was your what was your favorite memory since starting YouTube? Frank, what's your favorite memory since we started YouTube? I ain't got no memory. Bullshit, everybody got a damn memory. Uh -huh. Y'all, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I really don't. I do. But, I do. On what? Bring my hell. Frank, hell, you do that 24-7, so what the hell? All right, guys, but my most favorite memory of starting YouTube was when we do our mukbangs. I love talking to you guys, Get um, and I know you guys love, it, love to hear my input about issues and, you know, support and all that kind of stuff. I'm glad I, I can, I'm glad I can do that. I really am. And uh, my favorite mukbang would probably have to be KFC. I think it was like two or three months ago when we did it with the um, the chicken and waffles. That was freaking awesome. That was freaking hilarious, too. But I won't ever forget that day. It was the beginning of um, spring. It was hot as hell. I don't want to repeat that. And we were sitting inside. We were sitting in the KFC parking lot. Never again. All right. Let's see what number four is. Number four. What is your biggest pet peeve? Peep. Oh, and love you. I love, we love you too, honey. My biggest pet peeve is when this man over here doesn't talk. That pisses me off more than anything in the world. What's your biggest pet peeve? Quiet and peeve. That's not a peeve. That's what you do. A pet peeve is something that gets on your nerves. Paper. Paper or people? Person. No. Because it sounded like you said paper there for a minute. No. Nope. Alright, guys. Number five. What's your favorite burger? My favorite burger would probably have to be... I cannot have a burger without mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise on my burger. I'm not really a mustard or ketchup kind of person. I don't like that on my um, sandwiches, burgers, hot dogs, anything like that. No. I love mayonnaise, cheese, stuff like that on my sandwich. But don't give me none of that ketchup and mustard crap. What's your favorite burger? Oh, yeah, put some damn bacon on the shit, too. Like I'm sitting here right now eating this damn chicken sandwich while I could be having me some damn um, mountain barbecue. Mm -hmm. You must told her, ah, oh, you don't need no damn barbecue. I can hear your ass now. What's your favorite burger? Not now. You eat hamburgers now. Come on now. What's your, what, what do you like on it? You can't like that on it. You like bacon on your hamburger? I guess. You guess. It's either you do or don't. Y'all, his favorite burger is a bacon cheeseburger. Number six, what's on the menu? Honey, this menu sucks. But Francis is glorified. He's got him some potato and uh, potatoes and chicken. He's all good. But this woman gave me some damn chicken sandwich look alike. And I wanted barbecue. That's on the menu. God. What a good way to start a Friday, Frank. Number seven, what's your dream job or career? My dream job, I want to be a motivational speaker going around to schools, communities, um, even churches, and promoting equality for all people. 
because we need that now more than any. And I would also like to work in the WWE. What? Um. Laugh. 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 I said laugh. I didn't say life. I know you said. So what's your dream job, Frank, if you had to work again? What would you want to do? Be a stripper? Nope. Shit, I bet you swing around that pole and make that money, can't you? Honey, you'll be ten times better than Medea. It's like, grind on me. Then just do a loop around. That'd be your signature. Swinging around Willie. Because you're already mad as hell all the time. Alright. Alright, number eight. What's your favorite place to buy clothes? Most high of mine would be Walmart. But I also like going to JCPenney, um, Old Navy, stuff like that. But yeah, it would probably be mostly Walmart though. Number nine, what's your favorite body spray scent? Why the hell did I say body spray and it and my mouth started sm smelling like the damn scent that I was about to talk about? My favorite body spray is Honey's. When I was in a relationship, my boyfriend at the time, he always wore Fiji um, Old Spice. Honey, that scent got me attracted to it. And I started using it, and I love the scent. It's called Fiji Old Spice. You guys can pick it up at Walmart for like, what, $4 a thing, something like that. And it, it's got a great scent to it. And let your man wear it. And, honey, you'll be all over him like, like chicken on rice. How about now putting on a fly? <laughs> that sounds good. We should make that one day. Banana pudding and chicken and rice. We should make that. Hell, that hell, that does sound good right about now. But yeah. Mm, fold out, fold in. You ain't in the army. Fold out, fold in. All right, number ten. Who was your first crush? I won't ever forget. It was in high school. Well, middle school to be exact. Um, my uh, first crush. He was a. Uh, he was more like a city boy. I must say, he had brown hair. Uh. I don't know if he liked gay people or not, uh, but he would, I remember one time I was sitting in my um, desk, um, I had a girl sitting right beside me, and then uh, he was sitting two desks over, it was an English class, and um, he would be uh, like, you know, blowing me a kiss and all that, and, I, and you know, you know me, I blush all the fucking time, and uh, I was blushing and all that shit. And, um, but I don't know, but he was fucking hot. He was shit, shit. To me, he was the hottest guy in our class. He really was. But yeah, um, I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't know if he, what it was really. But I know I had a crush on him though. Number 11, what makes you happy? Um, going places, doing things, hanging out with friends. That kind of stuff. Going to wrestling events. Fuck yeah, who doesn't love going to WWE events? 
and even knock off weight makes me uh -uh. happy. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Make my own fat pasta. Don't you make me happy. Sweet. Frank, what makes you happy? Good question. A good question. Oh, what did make you happy? At me plenty, man. I'll be, I'll be like. Shit, you had that? Hell, you need to lend me some. I had me an album. If I won't be bothered, I'll be bothered. If I didn't, well, you, could, you could. Well, honey, I'll have bother me, you. I had my iron gate. I had everything blocked, and you had to call in and call out. I find, I'll, I'll just climb over the bitch. I have a I had me an electric wire. Mm-hmm. Doc you're so damn aggressive, you know that? <laughs> you're so damn aggressive. Hell, when you think of dirty, when you think of doing dirty shit, you think, shit, you, you so freaking aggressive. Hell, I guess I was thinking about my crush and I got some damn white shit on me. <laughs> got some of that mayonnaise. Um, alright guys. Number 12, how tall are you? I am five foot two. How tall are you, Frank? I'm um, two nine. You ain't no two foot nine. You're like more five six, five seven. No. Well, how tall are you then? Five eight to five nine. Right, you got a drink right here. I just bought you. I know. I'm on. I got ice in it. This one's gonna get hot. It's gonna get hot anyway. Hell, I was drinking the one with the ice in it first. No. Cause the ice gonna melt. No. Oh, okay. Number 13. Have you seen the movie Fight with My Family? No, I haven't, but I've heard great reviews about it. I want to see it so bad. It has, I know it has um, the story life of Paige. I love Paige. She is an amazing wrestler. And also, she's bisexual. So, who doesn't love bisexual people? I love my old our LGBT community. I love them. All right. Number 14. Do you and Frank have any tattoos? No tattoo. <laughs> no poo cat. No poo cat? <laughs> you funny. Um, no, I do not. I do not have no tattoos. Neither does Frank. Um, uh, but, but honey, if you want to get that face printed on you, you can. Yeah. You just go to your t tattoo shop and just ask them to put it on you. Make sure you put it on your back. That's where you can get a more a more of a big special feature for it. And hell, you you never know they might cut you a discount. You never know. All right. <laughs> number what number am I? Number fifteen. How are you so? How are you so inspirational, honey? I just love inspiring people to be themselves, love themselves, regardless of what other people say or do. Because guess what? At the end of the day, it's our life to live, and we have to live it to the fullest. Because guess what? Nobody else, nobody else can live our life for us. And we are the only ones to live our lives like we want. And we should be grateful for it. And I, sh and I appreciate God every day for giving me that right. And um, I think that's why... I'm a huge inspiration. But everybody is a huge inspiration. Because everybody has a story. And you know. When we tell our stories. We all have things in common. of Through our paths. And through our journey of life. But you know. I consider a lot of people inspirations. And I consider you an inspiration as well honey. Love you bunches. Number 16. Who is your favorite TikToker? Honey, I have so many. Um, Adam Goldwyn. Um, who else? Honey, if you guys have not checked out Officer Daniels, you need to go check his um, TikTok out because it's freaking hilarious. I love Officer Daniels. It's freaking amazing. Chelsea, love her. Libby, love her too. Um, who else? Shit. Six foot one nine Angie. I love her. I hope I said the name right. 
who else? Um, I just got a lot because I follow about 150 people, 120 something people. Go on, Jeep. Don't interfere with my video. But yeah, I have like 150 TikTokers. I go, um, I have, and um, and then I also follow one named Caleb. But that's not his name. I mean, that's not his TikTok name. But that's his name on TikTok. I mean, that's his name in real life. What I'm trying to say. Damn, can't say it right. Shit. And I love um, Grammy. I love her. Um, Jeep therapy. Uh, what else? Number 17, why don't you do your show anymore? Honey, my show's coming back. It's coming back better than ever. It's coming back tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern live on Facebook. Can't wait for it. The Justin Armstead Show returns. Returns. You should be my special guest. No! You damn ill ass! Come on. You say so damn ill. Yeah, I do. Well, calm it down. You about to print reading. Do what? I got this. I got this mail. Alright, number 18. Do you eat vegetables? What kind of vegetables do you eat, Frank? Why? They wouldn't know what I'm talking about. They do know what the hell you're talking about. No, they wouldn't. Why? Hell, we all eat the same damn vegetables. Purple, hurl, butter bean. Okay, what else? That's it. Okra, squash. And you just missed your whole important thing that you just ate. Tomatoes. You, just, you didn't eat no tomatoes? What, what did you just say? I don't fit that meal. That's none of meal. You had mashed potatoes. You had potatoes, Frank. I know. I you like, love potatoes. I know. That's all I want. It. But that's a damn vegetable, though. All right. Number nine. Well, honey, let me just say. I eat, um, to, I don't eat tomatoes, I really don't, because they have too much acid in them, but I love butter beans, squash, okra, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, um, carrots, I love all that kind of stuff, turnips. Number 19, would you ever, I mean, would you ever want kids? Yes, honey. I want a boy and a girl. I want two kids, boy and a girl. Would you ever want kids, Frank? Yes and no. If you have a big woman, that's the main thing. But, uh, all right, what kind of combination would you want? Don't make them different. Make it monkey twins. Make it twins. Oh, okay. Make it monkey twins. Yeah. One the baboon doesn't come. One bad and one the skunk. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, hell, it sounds like trying to adopt a zoo then. Alright, number 20. What makes you angry? This, what pisses me off the most is to see other people hating on one another. That's one thing I hate. Or to see bullying happen in our world today. It's sad and it's heartbreaking. It really is. To see bullying a cure, whether it, where it, whether it be in school, our community, or even our world, it is sad. And that's one thing that pisses me off. Frank, what makes you angry? People. People. What? What about the people? I mean, bug man, neck man, man. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to touch me. <laughs> I knew that was going to piss you off, so that makes you angry right there. Don't touch Frank, y'all, because it pisses him off more than damn donkey on cone, honey. 
So, honeys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Duck gone cone. <laughs> Pray this shit. Do what? Duck gone cone. Yeah. Carl, you, you say so fucking ill. I ain't had a good week this week. Hell, you never have a good day. What the hell are you talking about a week? It's been rough all week. Huh, yeah, I bet. All right, guys. Follow my social media links, comments. It'll be in the description below. Um, to my Instagram, Facebook page. Um, what else? Snapchat, all that great stuff. And leave a comment what you liked about this video. I sure would appreciate it. And um, I love you guys. Thanks so much for the support that you guys give us. I really, We really do appreciate it. Love you, honeys. Have a great day, honeys. Frank, you gonna wave? Peace! That's right. Love y'all.